Chris, thank you. New video tonight from the Greenville County Sheriff's Office following a deadly shooting involving law enforcement last month. Carlos Flores has been following this. He joins us live now. Carlos, what have you learned? Well, Nigel, Caro, we uh, last month the deputies were call, responding to a call about a man holding two guns in the parking lot of the trophy club here behind me. We now have a clearer picture of what happened when deputies arrived. Greenville County 911, what's the location of the emergency? Greenville County dispatchers got the call around 1240 a.m. We got a drunk guy here, he's got two guns in his hand. Club security tells dispatchers that the suspect, later identified to be 57-year-old Matthew Healy, was holding two guns in the parking lot. He popped a shot off earlier, that's how we knew he had guns on him, so we surrounded him and we're trying to pop him and keep him cool. You got me 1081, 450 Airport Road, 450 Airport Road at the Trophy Club. The 1073 male subject with two guns in his hand. Video from the sheriff's office shows dash and body cam video of the moments officers arrived on scene. Deputies say Healy was sitting in the driver's seat of a truck he had broken into. They added Healy then pointed both guns in his hand at law enforcement. It is not clear if Healy fired a shot at law enforcement, but we know a Greenville County deputy and Greenville County police officer did fire at Healy. Hey, I fired twice on him. And when law enforcement officers deemed the suspect no longer posed a threat, officers moved in to secure the suspect by placing him in handcuffs and provided first aid. Healy later died at the hospital. The Greenville County coroner says the cause of death was a gunshot wound to the head. Deputies say Healy had two guns with him and they found three more in his car. No law enforcement officers were hurt. Now, Sheriff Hobart Lewis says the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division and the 13th Circuit Court Solicitor will determine whether the deputy's actions were under the scope of the law. Now, Greenville County Police also responded that night. They have not released any further information at this time. But for now, live in Greenville, Carlos Flores, WYFF News 4.